everybody, I'm Karina, this is Stitches Costa Rica. Welcome for our floss tube number 14. Well, first of all, before anything, before new stars, FFOs, progress or whatever, I have to say a big thank you to Amy from Glove Throater Stitcher because she gave me a nice shout out the other day and I really appreciate it. Um, if you didn't visit the floss tube from Amy, please do. Please enjoy. Please go. I have been following Amy since past year. She's incredible. Oh, remember, Amy Globetrotter Stitcher. She's incredible. She stitches beautifully. And I have so much fun watching her interact with her husband. Because when she is making floss tube, he is recording her. And they have so much fun and they laugh at each other and they make jokes. And um, Gaddy is her husband. And the, the funny thing is when I start watching her, she was the only one stitching and now Gary is stitching and both are making beautiful pieces. Then I have so much fun and I enjoy watching Glove Trotter Stitcher. Then if you don't see, um, you don't go yet, if you don't watch her floss too, please go and put in the uh, link below, okay? then that's my recommendation. Check Amy and Gary. Well, let's keep going. I have a bunch of new subscribers. Thanks to Amy and thanks to all the people that is sharing and coming every week. Uh, then for you guys, the recurring viewers and the new subscribers, thank you so much to have time with me and um, you know, chat a little bit um, for this uh, way that we have now to know each other, no matter if we are in the other side of the world, um, and share this nice in this nice community because the cross stitch community is so beautiful, and um, I appreciate to be here. Then thank you, thank you so much. Um, let's see where we start. Let's see why we don't start by the new start. Okay, remember I showed you the other day that I bought some silk. And I told you that I never used silk before in my life. Well, I decided to start something with silk. And I decided to start butterfly, I'm sorry, butterfly clutch from hello from Liz Matthews I'm putting the um, design there and uh, in the original instructions of the design it calls for silk for the colors except for the black which is calling for the 300 310 you know from from uh, DMC then I'm doing exactly the same I'm using silks and the DMC 310 but Seals are the color of my choice, really. Like, keeping the pace of the original colors, but uh, using what I have. And I'm not using the silks that are requested because honestly, I don't have it. I don't have chance to buy it. And they're a little expensive for me right now. But the the, the seals I bought um, in AliExpress, they, they're working very well. I like them. Then this is my start. I already finished. Uh, half of the wings of the first butterfly. Look at, I really like the, uh, what is the name? What is the word in English? Hold on. Like the definition, I'm sorry. The, my brain, the definition that is, uh, the black is giving around the silk. I, I love it. I think it's pretty, pretty nice. Um, these silks do not have a name. They are like colors, okay? And they are like box of colors. Then I, um, I'm using this cream here, a little bit darker here, like um, maybe um, 
mustard color and these are like a very very uh, light aqua and a brighter aqua okay so far because as I go into the piece I am deciding about the colors but I'm so happy with this and then I took the advantage of this new star and I decided to jump into cross stitch camp uh, color Alice teacher is hosting and I'm putting I will put all the information in the below uh, box um, is hosting an idea of a cross stitch camp which sounds so good and I keep hearing about it I came hearing about it and I said okay I wanted to participate but I couldn't before like match my schedule with the pieces they are doing because every month there is a different challenge and I couldn't before but this month I was watching her of uh, uh, recent a uh, floss tube and she said that for cross stitch camp for August the idea is to start a new piece doing something you or using something that you never did like uh, uh, different floss different fabric I don't know something different and I said yes I can use my butterfly clutch because I never use silks and I just started in August then I wrote to uh, Coral's teacher and I said can I jump in and she said yes then I am doing cross stitch camp in August we'll see the idea is to finish this piece in this month then I don't know if I can do it but I'll do my best and I hope you have some happy look so good well that was my start well also I have to say thank you to Anne from Idaho and also from somebody that I don't know exactly her name I had to round down to check my computer because her her ID in YouTube is something like Crip Chick Script, something like that. I'll put it down below. And both of them, they told me they um, heard Amy uh, when she was making the shout out, and they immediately come back to see me, and. Um, and they are enjoying the videos then they gave me wonderful uh, comments and thank you thank you so much is is it for me to say thank you and that thank you crip chips crip then actually if you can send me your real name to say hello and your name because it's really hard for me to pronounce that <laughs> but thank you you too um, okay then let's go now with FFOs yeah well this is the thing with my FFO remember what I was doing for the Christmas ornament for the tw uh, 12 and 21 ornaments stitch alone and remember that the last ornament I FFO was really May because I decided to put two in one then I'm like one month beh behind and this is what I did the last time you remember okay then I did now the other two bowls that were a bail and a glove and I have a forward <laughs> and I like it guys I like it but I'm still like having a hard time with the golden ribbon I'm using around but it's not it's getting nice this is the bell this is the side of the bell and this is the side of the glove and actually I think ends nice really nice now if you compare this one is bigger than this one not too much but a little bit but this one ended around legs le less corrugated than this one then it's really like i am trying learning how to use this myself but i like it um and i'm pretty sure when they are you know by the time they hang on a tree or something like that they will like chime very nice with the uh, lights and all the beads and this funny way this is i put for this i don't know if it's uh, i think it's easy for you to see the color of the beads in that way this is green beads and in the back i use the same like 
blue purple that I use for the candy. Now, this is funny. I normally do here, first I do the white part, then second I do the color in between, then I put the beads, then I put the metallic floss. When I was stitching, this part has like three different purples, like the like violet, light purple of the globe that is combined here also. And there is a, another purple here in the center and then the blue purple. Okay, the thing is when I did the globe, when I was putting the purple, the light purple, I discovered that the white inside of the globe almost disappeared. It was, it doesn't look nice. Then I went and I make a second round of stitches on top of the first stitches for the white. And then I finally got the white to pop up in the globe too. Because first, the first round, it was not popping. But with a second round of stitches, only for inside the globe, around it has regular stitches. Then that means the white outside has, it's in two um, strands and really the globe inside has four strands on the white. It may, you know, and that made what the white popping up. It's good. But then this is the, um, this is the June. Okay, this is the June uh, ornament. Now, I don't, I didn't bring it here, but I started already the July ones, uh, the white part. Then I hope to finish um, July this month and maybe half of August. I'll try to make, I'm trying to catch up with the pace I had early in the, in the year. Then I'll try to make July and August through August. Uh, finish July and then do, you know, do August. But I am not sure. I'll do my best. But then, they're going nice, nice, nice. A little bigger, a little smaller. Actually, yeah, it's bigger in, in every, you know, around, the red around, the, the golden thing, the hanging, everything is bigger. Whatever, it's nice. Okay. And then my progress. Now, in my progress, I have to say that regarding the big pieces, the only thing I touched was Mystic, uh, from Mystic Stitches, uh, Mystic Stitch Ink, I'm sorry, uh, the follow pink. This is the corner of the piece, like, see, the corner of the piece. I finish it up because all, all around here, they were like spaces that were pending to fill. Then I fill all of that and I make the last three lines here. Then this is now a full page of the pattern completely finished. Okay, all a full page, which I am glad. Also, I'm working my Christmas in quilt, putting the pattern there from quoting what? Well, from Kore Wati Kore, and which I did is basically the Christmas tree over here. See, what I did in this case was this Christmas tree here. It has a lot of stitches, that Christmas tree, and I really like it, okay? Uh, let me hold it different to make it easy for you. Okay. Sorry, guys. Here. Okay. Then, um, this is how it goes. I like it. This design uh, keeps keeps me so, so interested every time. But this time, I only finished the Christmas tree. And that's not the... Right now, I have three full uh, pages ready. And I'm in the fourth one. Okay, three, let me see. What? Yeah, one, two, one, two, three. Actually, I'm not sure if it's two full pages. No, 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 I'm, I'm correct, I'm correct. See, because I start here, this is one, and then uh, the second one is this, and the third one is the top, and then I'm working the fourth, yeah. I'm in the fourth page. This is really nice. 
also here is where in the two pieces where I make the most of the improvement uh, cute girl to put in there I finished the third girl look the third one is done it's so cute the name is very very good for this cute girl you know this looks beautiful this is the, the third girl it's completely done oh, except that back stitch you know and I love it I have so much fun uh, stitching the flowers then I'm only missing the winter one and my goal is to do the winter girl this month in August because I know uh, there is a person, actually, the, uh, the, wife of, the wife of my nephew is coming from US in September. And I'm thinking to finish this and then send a piece to my sister-in-law uh, for her to um, frame, her at, frame it at US because this is too big to frame and put it in the suitcase. Um, but this is the idea. The idea is to finish this piece on August. Then it's only one one girl plus the backstitch, which is not really too much. It has back backstitch, but not to be crazy. Then here we go. You don't know how happy am I. How happy I am. No, am I? Because I'm not asking, I'm saying. You'll see, this is a mistake sometimes, recurrently, I do in English. Okay, and the other big, big advance is Poppy Pear. Look at Poppy Pear. The people which uh, follow me on Instagram already saw the piece. This is Poppy Pear. It's done except for the backstitch and the letters on the background which I plan to finish this uh, month then you see I love this piece love love this piece then backstitch plus this these are the letters on the background you see it has like letters on the back okay then if I finish poppy pear cute girl I'll be having two big finishes in August. Plus, the fact that I am trying to finish butterfly, uh, butterfly Clutch, that is difficult. But I'll try. Okay, I try. I will try to concentrate in these pieces in order to finish them in August. But I am pretty sure I would like to stitch in something else of my whips. But I'll try to finish Poppy Pear, Cute Girl, Butterfly Clutch and do more ornaments yeah well guys uh, this is everything I have to show you today thank you so much to come and uh, have some time for me um, actually I am recording Monday uh, the 9th by the end of the night by the end of the day like it's not the end of the day it's already the night it's like almost 10 o'clock in the night um, this was a short video, but it's um, an update of I, what I have. And um, hopefully you are taking care of yourself, stitching a lot. And um, what else I can say? God bless you guys. Bye-bye.